Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at insufficient transport layer protection. In this section, we'll explain what an insufficient transport layer protection weakness is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is an insufficient transport layer protection weakness? This vulnerability occurs when an application is not taking sufficient measures to protect network communication. What causes an insufficient transport layer protection weakness? The weakness is caused by not properly using TLS for the communication between endpoints. This allows an attacker to perform man-in-the-middle or phishing attacks. To understand the insufficient transport layer protection vulnerability, let's look at some examples. In the first scenario, we'll look at an unprotected website. Let's say a user is logging into an unprotected website. Since transport layer protection is missing, the credentials will be sent in plain text from the browser to the website. An attacker intercepting the traffic will now be able to read the unencrypted credentials, credit card numbers and other sensitive data. In the next example, we'll look at an unprotected backend. Here, a user is logging into a website which uses a properly configured certificate, so communication between the user and the server is encrypted. However, transport layer protection is missing in the backend. Credentials are sent in plain text between the application server and the database. So an insider intercepting the traffic will be able to read the unencrypted credentials, credit card numbers and other sensitive data. Insufficient transport layer protection can have significant impacts. Weak transport layer protection allows all sensitive data sent over the network to be read and modified. So, intercepted credentials could result in identity theft or fraud, causing reputational damage and revenue loss. Malicious HTML or JavaScript could be injected into the markup of the response sent to a user. An eShop's order delivery address could be changed in the request sent to a server. And weak certificates can lead to phishing attacks, which could lead to theft of sensitive data. To prevent insufficient transport layer protection weaknesses, developers should use TLS for all login pages and all authenticated pages. And it's important to protect the session token. Use valid certificates with strong encryption and set the secure flag on sensitive cookies. Developers should make sure no sensitive data is transmitted without having a secure channel in place at both the front end and the back end. A few more rules of thumb. Don't mix HTTP and HTTPS. Deploy HTTP strict transport security. Deploy properly configured certificates. Only support strong protocols such as TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1 and preferably TLS 1.2. Only support strong cryptographic ciphers. Disable support for weak ciphers. Obey the principle of least privilege and don't use wildcard certificates. And finally, monitor the certificate validity, including expiry dates and chain of trust. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Insufficient Transport Layer Protection.